Die Angel Star 291 here yet again, and this time with part 7 of my Paper Mario Thousand Your Door Let's Play. I have a commentator with me, introduce yourself, and also, WAKE UP! Yeah, I was gonna say, didn't I tell you two to stay awake in the last part? Yes, you did, and they did not listen. I know, right? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> in the last part... Yeah. He ventured through further into, uh, Hooktail Castle. In this part, be sure to put on this badge. I'm not going to tell you a million times. You can do this without the badge if you want. I did it on my first try of the game ever because I did not know. Because I did not read text before. <laughs> Literally, I did not read text before. Anyway, you ready, Pika? Let's do this. You got it. Holy shit. Who dares approach me? Well, you're huge. And a very weird looking dragon. Hmm, so, you are friends of the strange garbed one who came earlier. I didn't expect more to come to steal the treasure I protect such rashness. That was foolish, I fear. Do you really think you can beat me? But you're so small, and you don't appear tasty. I suppose you might make a good snack. And the bottoms of your feet smell like them, like they might make a good sauce with some spices. What, I, what I'll do is sort you it to crispy goodness and gobble you down head first. Well, looks like here we have our first boss fight. It's snack time, little appetizers, but which one of you more so should I taste first? All right, so this is Hooktail. And he's kind of tricky. That's Hooktail. Magic P is 20, attack is 5, and defense is 1. It'll stomp and munch on you, and it has a more dragonish attack. Stinky, fiery breath. It's tricky, especially when it's losing, and it'll try to fool you into being merciful. Oh yeah, and one more thing. It hates things that start with Kurt and end with it yet. Supposedly, there's something related to, to that somewhere in this castle. Did we find it? Yes, we did. Okay. So, 20 HP doesn't seem much, right? Well, we'll, well, we'll see about that. <laughs> Let's kick his ass. See how that sounded like a cricket? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> that awful sound. It sounds like a cricket. How, th how did you know? Stop that this instant! Er, I got really bad uh, food poisoning ones when I ate a cricket. I hate them. Oh, fight it, Hookie. Just hearing a cricket chirp makes me feel woozy. But also, uh, their atta uh, hit his attack gets uh, weaker, especially when you do it. I'm surprised I actually got that one, not gonna lie. Yeah. And his defense lowers to zero, too, as well. Uh, must not gag my poor tummy. Uh, so very woozy. Okay. I'm trying to do the super guard again. I th it didn't work right. <laughs> but yeah, if you have the badge, Hooktail's not that hard to beat. Like, he's, like, he's really easy, literally. I see that. But if you don't put on the badge, he's kinda tough. See, his attack lowers every time. <laughs> yeah. I'll give you 1,000 coins. What do you say? Can you forgive me? Okay, for one thing, remember when they said not to trust Hooktail? Yeah, don't. Because the first time I played this game, I trusted 
defeated him and got my ass kicked. <laughs> what? You must be joking. You don't need any points? Then how about lovely rare extra special badge I have? I'll give you that. It's one of a kind and it's yours for a limited time only. Will you take it? Keep it, you can. Uh, really? Well, I suppose I could apologize by letting you smell the bonds of my feet. People pay good prices. I'm being completely honest right now, really. So, care to take a whiff of that rich yet delicate scent of my world renowned feet? That's the Get out of here. Her, um, you aren't a very trusting fellow, are you? It's important to be able to trust someone, you know. Er, I guess I'd better. It healed at 10 Are HP! Are you serious? It just healed 10 HP! That's just not right! Oh ho ho ho! Ah, now my strength has returned to me. I've had <laughs> enough of this! Let's finish this guy off fast, Mario! Indeed we will! No more joking around! Are we standing in like the... the... Why do I always have to feel so faint every time I hear a uh, cricket? Ah, what? Bitch move! That was a that was a dick move. I know, right? I'm gonna use sweet treat to heal FP a little bit. Okay. Oh, I got- I hit that poison frickin' mushroom. Ah! Not again! Bitch! Oh well, it's still decent enough. Yeah. I'm still having a very easy time, though. See, it's only doing 1 HP at me, so it's no problem whatsoever. And guess what? I'm gonna say this like I always do. GAME OVER, BITCH! But, but I... I... You're, how... Why? There's still so much I wanted to do with my life. So many meals. 30. Wow. We just destroyed Hooktail like a boss. Didn't we, Pika? <laughs> yep. Wow, we actually pulled it off, Mario! Now all we have to do is find that crystal star thing you're looking for, Mario. Ooh, ooh. What? What? Yeah, I'm out! I'm finally out! Whoa! It, it can't be! Eh? Dad! Oh, that is so cute! Hey, you're, you're Coops! Hey, son, you've gotten so big since I learned how you last. Well, yeah, I guess I have, but who cares, Dad? I mean, golly, what happened to you? Where have you been all this time? Well, I came here a while back to deal with Hooktail, and all was well and good. But just before my finishing blow, he played a trick on me and, go and gobbled me down whole. I've been hiding in my shell for the ten years since then inside Hooktail's belly. Wait, what? How does that work? How does that work? How do you even? I know! How? I thought you were supposed to be digested! You can't really stay in someone's belly for ten years! You get digested in like less than a day! And boy, was it nasty! Yuck! I'm so glad to finally get out! Ha 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 yeah. Honestly, Dad, don't you know how worried about you we all were? For ten long years we all thought you'd you know, we thought your game was over. Great way to break the fourth wall. I know, right? <laughs> oh sorry, son, but I'm okay, that's good, right? We're together now, right? Hey, speaking of which, what are you doing here anyway? Oh come on, Dad. I came here to defeat Uptail who's been wrecking havoc in town. And Mr. Mario here is looking for a gem called the Crystal Star. Crystal Star? This wouldn't be what you're talking about, would it? It is! What's that? I found it down there in Hooktail's belly. Nice, huh? I kept it as a souvenir. So this is the thing you're looking for. 
Perfect, just perfect. You can have it. Wow, really? Come on now, I won't take no for an answer. You're Cook's friend. Please take it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, guess what? We got... We got a crystal star! And we learned Earth Tremor! One of the best special moves in the game. We just made chapter one! Yes! <laughs> End of chapter! Mario and friends finally got a crystal star in the castle after defeating Hooktail. Koops even reunited with his long lost father whom he thought was dead. Wow, real, got real dark for a second. Yet they were unable to learn anything about the whereabouts of the princess. Where could Princess Peach be? Yes, Mario's adventures has only just begun. Well, uh, I'm not going to save any of this, alright? Okay. Because I'm kind of trying to keep it all balanced to make sure the clips do come out. Know what I mean? <laughs> okay. I will probably show these for the rest of this part, alright? Alright. I mean, we just went through a boss fight, and I think we're fine. Alright? But I'll check how many minutes we're in the meantime. Plenty of time. Eleven minutes. Alright? Okay. Oh, great, exalted Grotus. We brought the Princess Peach you ordered, sir. Well, 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 my pet. Isn't it about time you told us where the map is? Princess Peach, you will speak when spoken to. I'm telling you, I don't know. There's no point in trying to hide it, silly girl. We know you had it. We know this. Trust me, it's very much in your interest to be absolutely honest with us. We x knots are not all rainbows and lollipops. I assure you, we are quite nasty. Brother, sir, I have news. Report at once. You know that crystal star we thought maybe Hooktail had? Well, someone nabbed it. What? What did you say? Someone else is after the crystal stars? And he defeated that Hooktail creature, you say? Speak, soldier. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. There's more, too. See, according to the report, there was a mustached dude in a red hat and blue overalls who pulled the job. Mario! Peach, you blabbermouth! I know, right? Excuse me, Mario? Oh, no! <laughs> I see, so you know the Mario, do you? Hmm. This fool matters not at all. I'll know all about him before long. That I promise. I throw Bordos talking. Take Princess Peach back to the holding room. Yes, sir. And men, take good care of Princess Peach. Understand? She is not to be harmed. You got it, sir. Well, Lord Crump? If the Mario character has the map, then it's highly likely he'll find the crystal star we're hunting in the Boggly Woods. You must return there immediately and hasten to the to the hasten the excavation if it must not fail. Was that? Oh yeah, sure, Roger Crotus, and with that power I'm gone. Good grief. I wonder if sending Lord Crump there alone is wise. He is a bit out there. <laughs> uh hmm. That's not. I summon you. You rang, dude? I mean, sir, you rang, sir, Grotus, dude? Grotus, sir? Grotus, sir? <laughs> what? Uh... Shut up! Go get the Shadow Sirens over here. The sh Shadow Sirens, sir? But they... I don't care how you plan to end that sentence, fool. Go get them now. Gotcha. What in the heck? The Honorable God is in need of us, then we arrive without delay. <laughs> Wee-hee-hee-hee-hee, <laughs> pray tell, did the princess tell you where the map is? So, still your tongue, Baldum. We, we would already have it if you'd snatched her earlier. But now, since you missed your chance, some poor fool named Mario had the map. It wasn't my fault, truly. There was there were too many prying eyes there, too many. Besides, a strange old man showed up at the moment of the truth, and we had to retreat. Why worry? All we need to do is, is... All we need to do now is find this Mario and steal the map, yes? Indeed, that is your duty. Must I remind you? That map is vital to the x not plan. I will have my men prepare all available information on this Mario. For now, hear me, Beldum. Your Shadow Sirens must take care of this troublemaker. 
Me, 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 fear not, sire. I, Belden, shall return with what you seek. Let's go, my lovelies. Marilyn, Vivian, come, come. We've got a job to do. <laughs> Something seems odd about those three, though. Don't you think? I wouldn't know. I don't know. There seems like a dark vibe in those three. I don't know. There's like some kind of dark vibe. I always had. I had this feeling since when I first started the game. Oh dear. Here we go again. Can't believe I'm kidnapped again. The Mario told us must be worried sick again. <laughs> But hang on a moment, where in the world am I anyway? It's so unfamiliar. I wish I could at least let Mario and Toadsworth know that I've been caught. Okay, we get to use Peach now. Yay. Pretty much all I can really do is just walk around. Yeah, she apparently she, uh, she there's a bathroom in here. You can actually also, I think, take a shower in here. <laughs> what a lovely shower. No soap scum even. Wow, I wonder if it works. Don't worry, it's all censored. All right. <laughs> Good thing too. <laughs> yeah, really. Ah, <laughs> Although I like it how they put the the paper dress like that, all folded and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Like that. See how the towel just folded? That was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, it was. See, Peach looks a little different. How refreshing! I feel like a new princess. I thought that was, I thought see, she looks different, but then when you go to another room, she she looks like the same again. <laughs> Hilarious. Mm, what was that? Hey, how odd! The doors open by themselves. So all I gotta do is just follow this door. Okay. Yeah. Weird. It doesn't look like anyone's around. I'm actually moving Peach right now, just saying. <laughs> How do I keep making these doors open? How odd. <laughs> You're psychic. <laughs> Hello, Princess Peach. Huh? What? Who said that? Where are you? Hello, Musing. I am right here before your eyes. I am this laboratory's main computer. I am the Tech XX. Many call me Tech. You may. Sir Grotus uh, created me to be a perfect computer, one that is flawless in its reason. Grotus, wait, he's that awful dumb headed thing who inter interrogated me, right? Sir Grotus is not awful. He is a very great person. He is marvelous. <laughs> well, I don't think so. But I got all change your mind, so I'm wondering, why did you leave me in here? I am unsure an unusual program deviation occurred when I observed you earlier. My higher brain circuitry malfunction and I and nearly overheated at your image. Also an, un an un unidentified impulse sped through my processors. These events are new to me. There is more to this phenomenon as well. I ran diagnostic programs, and their solution was, I want to know more about you. I want to observe you. Such a, such a compulsion has no precedence, cause unknown. I, the perfect computer, I must diagnose this, I must diagnose this unusual situation. I will not fail. That is why I led you here. You like the impression? <laughs> yeah. I'm actually moving my hands while doing it, cause it, it, it gives me a little more motivation to do it. Wait, did you just say you want to observe me? To know more about me? Could it be that you? No, impossible, can't be. You're a computer. What has happened to me? If you know my malfunction, you must tell me of it. Oh, I couldn't really because it's too, it's just too weird. Please tell me, please. I am the world's best computer. I am perfect. There should be, there should not be anything that I do not understand, please. Well, you know, maybe it is possible that, well, you're in love with me? Love? What is love? I cannot compute this. Wait, you don't know what love is? 
Love, how do I explain? Love tells you when you want to be with a person forever. It makes you feel happy just to see that person happy, smiling, having fun. Wait, so a computer is in love with a human? Uh, I have seems no legit. comprehension of this. Seems legit. Yeah. When you, when you love someone, you will do anything to help when he or she is in trouble. Happiness, fun, I have definitions for these words, but my programming is insufficient. There should be nothing I cannot comprehend. I am a perfect computer. You comprehend love? Love's not something you comprehend, Ted. You feel it. That, 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 that. Can't just teach. Will you teach me to feel this thing you call love? What? You're a computer. Why would you care about love? I am perfect. There must be nothing that I cannot comprehend. Nothing. That is why you must help me understand this thing called love, please. Do you have any wishes that I can grant you in exchange? I will grant them. But of course, I am unable to grant such a wish as letting you escape. What are you insane? You ex-jerks kidnapped me like common coupon. And now you call me in here and ask me to teach you the meaning of love? I should spit on your screen. You'll grant my wishes? Ha! Why should I believe you? I understand you are angry. That emotion I comprehend. You need not teach me now. But I must learn of this thing. I must. There is no alternative. I must be a perfect computer. That is why if you would just consider teaching me, I will grant your wishes. Do you understand me, Princess Peach? Now, tell me your wish. Are you sure? Well, okay, here it goes. Can I contact someone? The sooner the better. Yes, of course you may. Use my communicator to send wireless mail to anywhere you want. If you so wish, you can use it right now. It is no trouble. Use the keyboard in front of you. Enter the recipient address and message. <laughs> you mean this keyboard? Alright, let me give this a shot. I'm starting to hurt my throat now. Okay, I know. It's ready, Ted. Could you send it? <laughs> starting to hurt my throat making these impressions. <laughs> the message has been sent. For the time being, you may return to your room. I will call you in again when I want to ask you something. Holy Lord, that sounds painful. Uh, okay then. Good night. What I'm doing? <laughs> yes. Good night, Princess Peach. Well, I like doing voices. You know me. Even if it hurts, I'll do voices. <laughs> that, that computer thing. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, uh, let me check and see how many minutes we're in. We're in 23. I'm going to continue until this last part, okay? <laughs> okay. Different. No kidding. Good thing I have something to drink here while doing my voices. Yeah. Rawr, ha, ha, ha. Bowser, the mighty Koopa King, has arrived. Hold your applause, minions. Now that I'm here, Cammy, crusty old hag, why did you summon me here? Uh, Great Lord Bowser, the uh, crusty hag Kami Koopa will arrive momentarily. I'm really sorry for the inconvenience, but please wait at the rear of the room. And yes, I'm controlling Bowser right now. So the other day, I saw Lord Bowser gazing longingly at a photo of Princess Peach. Uh, you may want to put a cork in it, man. <sighs> I tell you, the look on his face when he was mooning over that thing, huh? Ah! Lord Bowser! Well, I'm dying to hear the rest of your hilarious story, Mr. Comedian. Do share. <laughs> I'm just gonna continue on because that that's the only one I wanted to show because I thought that one was funny, you know what I mean? <laughs> it was, though. Oh, there she is. Ah, Lord Bowser. I'm trying to put like a bit of a raspy voice with the uh, with the older characters, trying to anyway. Yeah. Cool. I've just now returned. I'm terribly sorry to keep you waiting, my lord. 
I bet you are, Coop Candy Koopa. Now out with it. Why have you called me here? Please, your grumpiness. Don't be so impatient with your poor servant. <laughs> it's my displeasure to report that Mario, that scum, is off to a town called Rogueport. <laughs> Am I Mario's babysitter? I don't care what he's doing. Are you going to call me every time that guy blows his nose? Or what? Sheesh. Yes, well, you see, my lord, apparently Mario is hunting for an amazing treasure. <laughs> treasure? Yes, Mario's gone in search of a star-shaped jewels known as the Crystal Stars. I'm researching just what they are, but there's no question of their high value. Crystal Stars, you say? They sound like good world-conquering tools. I want them. Mm, yes, very good. Continue researching this for me, you brainy hot. You brainy head, you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Leave it to me. By the way, Lord Bowser, do you like fried eggs? What kind of question is that? <laughs> no, right? Uh, I'm gonna play it through my things, I guess. Do I? I love fried eggs, love them, but what a weird question, what do you ask? No freaking shit! <coughs> well, during Mario's recon, I stopped in a lovely place called Petal Meadows. I was planning on taking everyone there for a picnic, having some eggs and toast. Of course, I wouldn't think of sending out invites without asking you first, Lord Bowser. <laughs> Airhead! Big naked moron! There's no time for fun! See, this is why my evil plans always derail, because you cla you claws always goof off! Arr! Oh dear, Lord Bowser, please calm down. Remember your blood pressure. Wait, Bowser has a blood pressure problem? I know, right? Mm, what's that? What? Is this true? Lord Bowser, terrible news. Some bold blood abducted Princess Peach in Roadport. Oh, what? Tell me you're lying, Gimme. How, when, where? Who would do such a thing besides me? Haha, <laughs> funny. I'm afraid we don't have that information quite yet. The, inv the investigation's ongoing. One thing is most certainly confirmed, however. The princess has been kidnapped. At least that not wasn't by Bowser this time. I know, right? Under no circumstances is anyone allowed to kidnap her without my say-so. I will not stand for this. I'm going to roll for it now. I've got to kidnap her back. Are you serious? Yes, so. That's weird. That, that seems familiar. Uh. Way to go, asshole! You broke through your own castle. But your grunginess, or grunginess, wait up! Well, he, just broke, he just broke a hole through his own castle! Seems legit! It totally seems legit. No worries, that's the last one. For every one of these chapters, there will be every part where we do Peach and Bowser as well after every chapter. Yay! Oops, my lad. Are you telling me that you're going with Mario? Um, that's right, Dad. I'm going to continue traveling with Mario. And then I'm, well, I'm going to come back a strong Koopa like you, Dad. And this is why I love you, Koops. You have a personality. Literally. Yeah. Nicely said, young Koops. That's my boy. But always remember this. You are my son, Koops, and I am your father. Koops, my sweet. I'll be right here waiting for you to prove yourself. And <laughs> mad just add. If anything happens, you can always come home, Koops. Don't you ever forget that. This village will always be your home. Okay, thank you, everyone. Well, I'm off. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mario. You know, farewells. So, where are we going? Let's head back to Roadport. Remember, Mario, the, ba the bearer of the magical map shall unfurl it before the thousand-year door. When this is done, the star shall guide the bearer to the crystal star with pure light. And it didn't stop there. Each crystal star shall point to the next. That's what the book says. Which means, if we take the crystal star we found back to the thousand year door, so that means the location of the next crystal star will appear on that magic map? Exactly. Come on, let's go. So technically, we've got another star gauge, and yeah. You pretty much know the story. Uh, 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 uh. So we made some progress. <laughs> Finally. Yes, we beat chapter one, so that's good. Let's. Oh, and I guess with the new ability while we're here, let's get this badge. 
Mega Rush. Mega Rush. Cool. Mega Rush. What that does is it it uh it increases attack power by five when your partner's in peril. That's a good badge, that's, but it, I know. It, dumb. It's, it's a risky badge. <laughs> it's a little dumb. I mean, if it was in danger, I'd probably consider it better. But no, you have to be in peril. That's kind of. Which is one HP. That kind of sucks. It's one HP. Gotta get rid of something. Something or I. I guess I can just get rid of one of these mushrooms. I can get these like anywhere. Literally anywhere. I know, right? I wonder if that guy still. Wait, that guy's gone. What? Okay. Hey. Works for me. I don't care. Anyway, we're gonna end things off here. So next time in Let's Play Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door, we'll be heading back to Rogue Fort and act. And I guess going how, to Unpearl. How long are we be in anyway? Huh? How long are we in anyway? Uh, I'm pretty sure we're about less, about over 30 minutes now. But I'll go check anyways. 31 minutes. I think that's the ending part. <laughs> yeah, I think so, too. So, yeah. Uh, next time in Let's Play Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door, we'll be heading back to Rogueport and unfurling the, the, uh, the crystal stars with the, with, the, with the map as well. So this has been Angel Star 291 and... I'm Pika. Saying goodbye and see you guys in part 8. See ya.